entrance Anderson. The Lord became my protector. He brought me out to a place of freedom. He saved me because he delighted in me. We gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to Eucharist, so let us offer to God our intentions, and we also specially pray for the souls of Father Paul Tong, he passed away yesterday. So let God, with his mercy and compassion, grant him eternal life. Now let us humbly ask God to forgive our sins and prepare our heart to celebrate this thanksgiving sacrifice. I confess to mighty God and, and to, to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most dear fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice and travel in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in, his, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoiled or sold and never fade away, because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guide you until the salvation which has been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is a cause of great joy for you, even though you may, for a short time, have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold, which is corruptible even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honor. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still, without seeing him, you are already filled with a joy so glorious that it cannot be described, because you believe. And you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward, that is, the salvation of your souls. 
The word of the Lord. Let our response to the word of God be, The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. The Lord keeps his covenant in mind. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is. God's message and not some human thinking. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, to you o, Lord. o Lord. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him, and put this question to him. Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Master, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked steadily at him and loved him, and he said, There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But his face fell at these words, and he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. She said, look round and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted, My children, he said to them, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than, than ever. In that case, they said to one another, Who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, it is impossible, but not for God, because everything is possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, 
without faith, we never search for salvation. Without faith, we never look up to the heaven and live our life for what is better. Without faith, we are only occupied by material things, to be honest, to be a good man, to be a good woman, that's enough. But to have faith, we see God is our Father. With faith, we know that our life is in heaven. And God is my protector. God is my future. God is my inheritance. That is the great gift of faith, which opens our eyes to see that we are the children of God. Brothers and sisters, we are the children of God. That is a great thing. It's a great gift. And faith leads us to God. And faith makes us know that we belong to God. Our life will not end in our tomb because Jesus is our Savior. Through His death and resurrection, God guarantees us that nothing can destroy us. And our inheritance and our reward will never be spoiled or destroyed by any power. Brothers and sisters, that is our joy, that is our hope, and that is our motivation, that is the purpose of our life. That's why the young rich man, he searched for it. And he ran up to Jesus and asked Jesus. He could ask Jesus for other things. Maybe Jesus helped me to find a job. Or Jesus helped me to change my job. Jesus helped me to have a job with better salary. Maybe he can ask for many things. Uh, there are so many things in this world for us to ask for. We he asked for, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Brothers and sisters, we also we should ask this question, Jesus, what must I do today in order to help you, in order to be with you, in order to make sure that I am with you? I am in peace with you. To be in peace with God, to reconcile with God, is very important, brothers and sisters. That's why we should pray for the peace. We should thank God for the peace we have in Singapore. You can see in Ukraine, many people were disturbed their life is up and down because of the world. They long for the peace. Stop, stop the world. We want peace. We want our life which is normal. Brothers and sisters, but our peace with God is much, much more important. Don't delay. Have to reconcile with God. Have to be in peace with God. That is the way to help us to be on the right track in order to inherit eternal life. We can see in the gospel, it's not easy for us to be focused. It's not easy for us to be disciple of Jesus. not easy for us to, to do it. We know, we know that Eternal life is very important, but we are discouraged by many things in our life. This young man is very good, maybe he's better than us. He observed all the commandments of God, 
brother and sister, he is only uh, one, one leg in the kingdom of God. Uh, for relationship with others, not, not to skill, not to commit adultery, not to steal, honor father and mother. He did all. But one thing he made him fail is his wealth. His wealth, brothers and sisters, his wealth is more important than anything. That's why his wealth makes a world which separates him between him and God. Mention about his wealth, he failed. Jesus did not ask us to go home and sell everything and give to the poor. No. Jesus invited him to have a sense of compassion. What you have, you must learn to share your blessings, your talents, your time, and also what you have. You have learned to share. You have compassion for others, especially for the needy and for the unfortunate. Brothers and sisters, if we don't have this sense of compassion, of sharing, maybe we should sit down and ask ourselves, I am a Christian. I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. If you close your heart, you close your hands and you don't want to get out in order to help others, that is something wrong. You have should ask Jesus, Jesus, give me your heart so that I have compassion towards my brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect on it. Do am I compassionate? Am I willing to help people when people need my help? Do I have a desire to do something for God? That's why I love Mother Teresa Kankita. She says something is very beautiful. Maybe can help us, can give us the courage. She said, do something beautiful for God. Do it with your life. Do it every day. Do it in your own way. But do it. That is important. So brothers and sisters, let us also come to Jesus and have Jesus for help. Uh, Jesus for the graces also for his love. Without our love for Jesus, we can't do anything. That's why Jesus said, Can, we cannot rely on ourselves. We should rely on God and be with God and do with God. Because for us, it is impossible. But for God, everything is possible. That's why we have to learn how to hold him, how to disturb him and how to be united with Him. So with God, we can receive everything in Jesus Christ. Every blessing that God has prepared for each one of us. And through Jesus, God will bless us forever. So brothers and sisters, let the presence of Jesus be our joy, our strength, and our motivation, and also help us to be like Jesus, to have compassion towards others, especially to be with God in our daily life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received 
the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the why we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands, we come our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and call our oblation as a size of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain Mary's reward. True Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with thou end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the foe of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. May this million body. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you, you should, should enter me. under my roof, but only Please say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
communion antiphon, I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament we wish you fit us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer of the Synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do, Do not, not let, let ignorance lead us down the wrong, wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. So have a blessed day, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father.